Hello, everybody, and welcome to more Little's Place Minecraft. That's not very much iron at all. Today, we're actually going to be working on the iron farm a little bit. We're going to be adding in a modification to it. We're not going to make it any more efficient. It's still just going to be a single unit, so it's not going to run all that well, but it will give us a trickle of iron. Why do I have a beacon in my inventory? I don't know. Let's put it away. We have 30 levels, so let's start off with enchanting a book. Hey guys. And during this time, I'm going to ask you guys a question. Uh, do I even have any books over here? If you could, well, I guess the enchanting table's over in. Uh, let's just take one of those with us. Over in the library. Let's go to the library. Or it's in the bottom of the cathedral. Let's go to the library. Alright, so the question for you guys today in this episode is if you could change one thing about my channel or my videos or the way I do videos, what would it be? So I'm looking kind of for some almost like negative feedback in a sense. Uh, I don't need to do that. Um, yeah, so anything you feel. Like it could be just auto quality garbage, video quality garbage. You have a lisp. I don't know. Whatever you want. <laughs> just uh, no, fire protection. That's okay. Whatever. Yeah, just keep, tell me what you think. If you could change one thing about my channel, what would it be? So, it could be anything, like the video, video quality, audio quality. Um, me. You could, if, I, if I could change anything about your videos, it would be you. If you could not be in them, that would be great. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I, I think I'm going to try to give questions at the beginning of episodes. Because I tend to ramble at the end of episodes, and then it's kind of too late. Most of you have probably um, gone off. As I know, you don't always watch the whole episode, which is understandable. Sometimes they they run on quite a bit, and they get dry and boring, and you're like, all right, I've had enough. Thank you for the entertainment. Goodbye. Or you watch like 10 seconds, in which case you still didn't get to catch this, so... Oh, well. But anyway, what we're going to be doing today, if you looked at the title, which I think I'm calling Iron Golems On Demand, we need a bit of redstone. We are going to be doing redstone today. Uh, we need... Do I need pistons? Probably. Uh, probably sticky pistons. I do need some droppers. Probably redstone torches. We don't actually have too much of anything else here. I think it's all still at the wither skeleton farm. Oh, I do want those. Probably hoppers. Um, buttons? Sure. Don't need 32 of them, but... We'll take them anyway. Alright, so I need to make some repeaters, it seems, probably. And probably some comparators as well. Hmm. We are probably going to finish off the episode at the Wither Skeleton Farm, if we have time. We'll see how long this takes. So let me get ready, and I'll meet you over at uh, the Mop Farm. Slash Iron Golem Farm. Change of plan! I don't have enough redstone. Well, I might, but might as well just come here and grab it all. Might as well grab you guys, too. Hey, guys! All right, the other thing I wanted to bring up, actually, while I was here, is I have asked got you guys to design some windows for me, if you wanted to. So, for instance, I made this one, and I've gotten four of them. These are the ones I've gotten so far. I've gotten one from Avaron or Xdrux Z, depending on uh, where you see them, I think. I think his YouTube might be Xdrux, and I believe Twitch is Avaron. I recognize Avaron from streams, for sure. Uh, D Gamer from the Olympus server, Fancy Pants from the Olympus server, and Daxmaster. He was the first one to provide one. What I want in addition for those four that have already done this for me, if you're watching this, or I might have to ask you, or I'll provide a title, um, but I want you guys to provide a name for your artwork. So, like for mine, for instance, it's kind of like a cliffside, whatever, I don't know. So I'm just going to call it cliffside. Alright, so we will go and say, like, Cliffside, or whatever. And then buy more Villabus. And maybe I'll try to make the signs look a little fancier, or we could do an item in an item frame and have it be a hover over effect. But I think having a plaque looks more appropriate. So, however, we decide to do these windows, I would like to put, yeah, a plaque at the bottom to recognize who built it. And yeah. So, for instance, like Daxmaster, his was, yeah, if you guys haven't seen it yet. But it's a wither, now that he told me what it is. It does actually look like a wither, <laughs> so good job. Um, so yeah, his could th simply be called the wither if he wanted to, or whatever he wants. D Gamers is a giant M. And actually, what I'm thinking of... We might have some windows here, where I've already got them. I think I might push them back. So I think there'll be one, two, 
three, four windows, probably, in between all the pillars. And then for the rail line that's going to be going this way, I think what my plan is, I'm going to get up to about uh, lava level, which is right here. I'm going to be one below lava level. Um, let me see things, please. Can I get up? Basically, where we are right now. This height here uh, may be a bit higher, so that we are slightly above the lava, or slightly below. Either way. <laughs> I'm going to use the lava to prevent mobs from spawning in the portals themselves, because it will take up the air blocks, so hopefully I can't get pigments spawning there. And then as long as I have a block, as long as I block enough of it above too, so we'll see. See, so yeah, I think we might be actually slightly above the lava, and the portal frame will be at lava level, so that or one below lava level, so that nothing can spawn. Cool. So yeah, what I'm thinking, I didn't really explain very well, but from here we're gonna make our way up here somehow, probably a grand stairwell or something. So you come up here, and then this is where the rail line is gonna be. So you will disembark somewhere up here, and then you'll go down the stairs, and you're there. But from here on, there'll be a straightaway maybe for a bit, and then it's going to head up at an angle, an angle, at 45 degree angle, and then once it gets to the appropriate spot, it's going to turn. So i got to figure, work that all out, basically whatever 45 degree angle from where it's coming out until where it comes down, whatever I can do to make it look good. But I'm thinking I'm going to line this whole area with windows. So if we can get more windows from you guys, even if you've already submitted one, if you want to submit another one, feel free to do so. So I've only got four so far, and yeah, I think with that hallway we'll have room for maybe like another 10 or 20 going that way. So we can make tons and tons of artwork if we want. So I think that's a cool way for you guys to get kind of your name in the world as well, if you're interested. So this is interesting. So you see that lover? He was able to spawn there because there's an air block right where I'm standing, and also a lot more air blocks at this height. Whereas if, if this lever was somewhere where that, like way back here in the corner somewhere, where there's slabs everywhere around it within 20 blocks, except for right there, <laughs> uh, then you'd be able to spawn. Like putting a torch there actually prevents mobs from spawning there, even though pigmen aren't affected by light. That does prevent mobs from spawning as long as there's not an air block within 20 blocks away from this one. But there I go rambling again. So anyway, I'm going to pick up my redstone. And so, yeah, we'll probably work on the window and the layout of this a bit more another episode. The good thing about doing it higher up as well means I don't have to dig out so much, although I've pretty much already dug out a hallway going this way anyway, but I think it's going to work out better if it's higher up. I'll be able to control spawning, I think, a little a little better. All right, where is redstone? I know I have blocks of redstone, so let's do that. I do want to leave some here. So comparators, repeaters, I'll probably leave and I'll make some more when I get back. Oh, that's some good armor. Let's take that back. Hoppers, I'll take some of those back because I'm not iron rich on the server. So that's nine stacks of redstone. I think there might actually be some more up above. So I'll go take a look there and I'll meet you guys back at the village. Yeah, we're back. What do you guys think? I changed this a long time ago, but um, should we swap out the regular glass for the... I think that's white. White stained glass. Um, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Didn't I pick it up? It's in my inventory, isn't it? Oh, wow, it's completely invisible. I so can't see that. Okay, that's gray, actually. Gray's nice, too, though. Nothing wrong with gray, guys. Don't be a hater on gray. All right, here we are uh, on the ground again in the darkness. Wow, this is actually pretty dark. Ah, <laughs> uh -huh. this might cause some problems. So what I was thinking we could do... I was going to say, are all, all of them dead? No, we got one. Oh, look, a chicken. <laughs> uh, I, I might need a way to kill off the chickens. <laughs> Boy, how you lived, you're dead. So I think what happens here is... Um, it could be skeletons that survive, maybe, and manage to damage them. Or, I think most of the zombies tend to be one-shot. Or it could be witches. I'm not sure... I don't remember how far a witch has to fall to die, but I don't think this is far enough. And they tend to heal themselves. 
after they've taken damage. So if they fall here and live, chances are they'll probably heal themselves up. And then they might actually be able to kill off these guys eventually. So instead of me remaking them all the time, providing iron and iron blocks and all that, I thought, why don't we just use the iron golem farm to kind of stock these guys up. So right now I only have one in this guy and one in this chamber. Looks like the sorter might be busted again too. Keeps overflowing. <laughs> I gotta do something. Oh no, there it goes. It was just emptying itself out. It was doing what it was supposed to do. But yeah, we almost have a chicken farm going if I could figure out a way to kill them. Uh, maybe like a tripwire. They fall through a tripwire and it shoots an arrow or something. I don't know. That would make a use for arrows. And then we could have arrows go right back into the system. So if they fall slow enough as if they're on a a chicken, they will die. But yeah, our iron golem farm anyway is over this away. Uh, this is where the iron comes from. It comes this way and then heads up to the tower. Or not the tower. So this is not Olympus. Heads up to the village. So what I'm thinking is we dig a tunnel out this way. And if we grab some stone work, I'm thinking these guys don't take fall damage. So we could introduce them into the system wherever we want. So I think maybe at a height like that where it's out of the way... So we can still go underneath. Maybe I'll even do it one higher. Oops. And we might make it out of glass so you can see over top. But essentially, this is going to be... Let's get some torches going. We're going to have... Yeah, little platforms here. So this is where the iron golem is going to come from. And then somewhere in the wall here, we're going to create kind of an intersection. So we got three of these things going. And i got to fix that. I still have to change two of them. Two of them are a different height than the other one. So I'm going to make them all the height, same height again. And that was when I was experimenting with um, the mobs with their armor. That's one of the problems, too. That's why some of the mobs survive, is because they have like protection armor on or something like that. But yeah, we're going to do this. We're going to have water streams right here. So this will be all enclosed. And I think I might make it look like a tube of some kind. So I probably will use glass with something on the corners maybe and then I think golems are what three high so I'll have to provide them a way in but yeah we're gonna have water going this way so when an iron golem comes through he'll get through the system now in terms of processing and how we're gonna do it all with redstone um, I think it should be fairly easy I haven't planned this out so I might have to take a break to figure it out but we're gonna use basically like counters I'm going to set up some buttons underneath, so maybe we can see how we want to lay that out, and that might dictate um, how this thing gets moved. It's also a even number, or we do odd number here. We either need to have one central control for all three, but as thicken we could just have some buttons set up and some lights. So maybe something as simple as this, although I don't really like how this is going just yet. But we could have a button there, and then we'd have the same thing for all of them. So if we come down here and we see, oh, there's only one iron golem in here. Let's add another couple. I can add, I'll just hit this button, and one light would turn on, and it would stay on. Oh, I don't have any torches. Oops. And then you hit it again, two would turn on, hit it again, three. So you could basically have a call for a maximum of three iron golems. And then what this will do is over time they will fill up. So as the iron golem farm provides new iron golems, instead of killing them off right away, we're going to have a switch. So anytime any of these three sections have a call for an iron golem, we're going to send a signal over to the killing chamber and disable the lava trap and enable the iron golems to instead be sent over this way. And then depending on how many sections have like an opening, so... Like, we should be able to just make a hallway back here. Uh, let's get some more light going. We should be able to, yeah, do a hallway here. And then we come out to wherever these guys are. So that's the next one. And then we go to the next one. So, and let's say they come from this way. So I'll have to, I might have to modify the killing chamber over there with this iron golem farm as well. It's not very fancy. It's very rough. I haven't, def I definitely haven't prettied up the iron golem farm or anything like that. So yeah, we have the iron golem. Oh, fireworks, if you heard that. Nighttime. So yeah, the iron golem will come. We'll have some checks set up, probably some tripwires, what have you, so that we can count the iron golems as they come through. So let's say this guy has a call for one iron golem. We'll probably have some pistons that come up here. 
So the first iron golem that arrives will be sent over here, and then as soon as he gets into this section, I'll probably have to push this hallway back to give me give myself a little bit more room so I can set up some tripwires and not interfere with anything. But yeah, so he'll come through. He'll activate a tripwire, which will um, take away one item from a counter. So for a counter, for instance, we could do something... Let's see here. This should be relatively easy, I think. I have not <laughs> decided to plan ahead, uh, which I usually do for the redstone. So we can simply have that. And then you put, like, three items in, right? Or probably better if I had... I might have to set it up with swords or something that has better weight than dirt. Maybe like an egg or an ender pearl. Something that will give off at least an increment of one redstone um, signal length per item. But anyway, let's say we have three items in here, right? Every time we hit the button, one item gets removed and gets sent over here. And this item will be sent here and then we could have this... Or sorry, we'll, be, we'll sit here. And once an iron golem activates the tripwire, that will send this item back to the other side. So that's as simple as the counter is going to be. So we got three items, which allows for three iron golems. And then all we got to do is take a reading. So we could um, just have a comparator somewhere, wherever we decide, and take a reading off that guy. And then we'll show some indication. We'll get the signal to these lights so that when one item is in there, it will give off a signal strength of one and then from there we'll have to just light up the first lamp and then when there's two items second lamp three items etc so let me lay in some groundwork for this and i'll bring you guys back so i'll probably go figure out how i'm going to do this part and get some digging done and maybe lay out these tubes but what i'm thinking for the tubes here we're using gray glass so let's stick with the gray so how about instead of doing this, we just do like that. And we can modify how it connects in as well. And then I'll probably use slabs, which I don't think I have any on me. So we'll probably keep that look going. But otherwise, it'll be a tube like that. And uh, we could do that, or we could put stairs, I suppose. Give it kind of a circular look. And then we keep going with the glass, but with the gray glass, I might have to go make some more as well. I think I took all my colored glass, or stained glass, to the wither farm as well. <laughs> keep moving all my stuff over there. So yeah, it'll be like that, I guess. And then there'll be... Let's see, we'll put some more stairs on top, and there'll be another row of glass there as well. Don't fall. I fell. Okay. There we go. So yeah, and then this will be open. And what I'll probably do, I don't think it's going to happen, but there could... I don't know if something could hit this edge, so what I'll probably do is just get rid of this edge, to be honest, and make the... make it one wider or something. And bring that out. Um, hmm, did I use up all of that? I did. No. You cannot leave. You stay. Stop trying to leave. There you go. You can no longer leave. So yeah, I'll probably widen them by one, I guess, to allow for that, so that the uh, there's not that little ledge, which I don't think anything will fall onto, but this should make it impossible, I think, for them to fall onto. Okay, I haven't really done anything except I got the little counter thing figured out. So I'm just trying to figure out where we should put it. It's these stupid even numbers. <laughs> we can either try to make it an even number counter, like a two wide. <coughs> Excuse me. Pardon me, everybody, while I throw out my lung through my throat hole. Die. <laughs> except I don't want your chicken. Garbage. So I'm not too sure. Um, the one I designed is just a single thing. I can either put them all to the right of, maybe? Why don't we do that? So for instance, there'll be one here, and then there'll be one here. So this one will be for this guy, this one will be for this guy, and then this one will be for this guy. And then there won't be anything on this side of them. So why don't we build one of these together? 
Um, why don't I just get rid of some room? God, I love having haste. I would not be playing without haste too, guys, honestly. <laughs> Definitely wouldn't dig out the projects that I've done. Okay. Torch. Center line. I got some slabs now, apparently. Okay, so I want to have two buttons. And I'm just trying to think where we should have them. At that height. So like that. And then we're going to have three lamps on top. One, two, and three. Nope. Nope. And nope. And one more time. And this time for sure. Yep. Okay. So three buttons. Let's take a repeater. We're going to do that. Let's swap out to some bricks. And then we're simply going to put a dropper there and a dropper there. No, not simply like that, but simply like that. Okay, so now we have a very screwed way of doing this. Or very simple, I guess. Let's see, we need a crafting table. I am going to make some wooden swords. Or maybe some stone swords. We're going to make some... Yeah, let's make some... Oh, we don't need 32 of them. Um, I just need three, actually. Well, three per. One, two, three. One, two, three. Can I just drop? Two, three. Oh, I can. That's cool. Okay. Now we got swords. So I put one, two, three swords in each one. And let's see. Uh, no, I'll just put down my inner chest. I think I have room in there for stuff. We don't need more than a stack of each thing. I don't need dirt. Okay. Whatever. Good. 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 Okay, so now it's pretty much done. <laughs> one button to add an, an item over here. One button to remove it. Uh, now all we got to do is add in some visual indicators. So we're going to use a comparator right here. All right, let me get my inventory sorted so I don't have to continually go into it. We do need some slabs, but let's make some regular stone stair slabs. Just to make it easier. We don't need ender pearls. Okay, good. So comparator, block, uh, block, block. Okay, and here I think we have to put a repeater and then simply some slabs. And then here I'm probably going to decorate this guy with the stone, which is why I've kind of saved him. And I'll have to get some more. Okay, so there we go. So what that is, that's for the first lamp. So when we put one item through, he only has enough signal strength to go that far. So that's why we're doing it that way. Um, I'll have to swap these blocks out, but let's see, the next one... Uh, let's not make those full blocks, because part of the problem with this is budding. You can easily bud these guys, and then they don't respond to a redstone signal. So yeah, if we take this next one and we follow him, you can see where... Oh no, we're still on one item. <laughs> right. So you can see how far he goes. He only goes two signal strength with the one sword. So if we add in another sword... Right, it's not going to light up. <laughs> uh, you can see the signal goes a little bit further. It goes an extra two. So if we swap that out for a repeater, now that lights up the next one. For the last one, we're going to do right there. And we're going to, I think if we just bring it up like that, it's not quite strong enough to activate yet. But when we add in one more item, it will. It'll reach over there. And then if we want a ducked one, let's say we decided we don't want that many iron golems in there, we can simply remove them as well. But yeah, so the idea is we got one in there. Let's say I want to keep three at all times. I can just come here and add in another couple, and then as soon as they're made, they'll make their way over here. And they will be automatically deducted. So I also have to find a way to power this guy to remove an item from it. Uh, we could probably do it right from right there. So we'll have a tripwire somewhere from this tube. When he comes down, it will activate, let's say, this redstone signal there, which will power this and do the same thing as me hitting the button. So it'll say, you wanted two iron golems, one of them has arrived, so it's deducted it, and then we wait for the next one. Alright, this should be all three of them. Assuming I did them right. Count up, count down, good. Count up. I'll probably change the look. 
I threw out a bunch of stone slabs for now, but I'll change the lookout afterwards. For now, we'll just build it out of stone and get it working. Okay, so that part is done. Next part is, yes, yeah, setting up how we want to control the uh, iron golem. So let's see about putting in a tripwire, which I don't have on me. But let's see, the guy's going to come from this way, so we're going to have to have tripwire probably there and there. Uh, we could go one forward if we want, and then I might not have to redesign the hallway. I don't know. There we go. So he comes through. Let's get rid of that for confusion. Tripwire hook. And then we can simply... This will have something. I guess it'll have a stair. So I don't think you can have a solid block under the hook or it doesn't work right. So that'll be like that. Um, okay, let's see about getting the signal down. Uh, we could take it down like that. Or what if we did a... No, okay. So, whoop. And if I was smart, why don't we get a lever real quick? And then I can just mimic having that tripwire hook available. And we'll just turn it on with this. So let's pretend. Pretend? Pretend? Okay. So we want that to come down and get to there. Well, that's pretty easy, isn't it? Why don't we just do that? Ta da! And yoink. Now, the only trick that might happen is if he activates the tripwire more than once. Which I don't know if he will. We'll see if that becomes a problem. If so, we might have to put in like some kind of um, spam limiter on this thing so that that can't happen. So now, what do we got? Let's see. Now we've got, let's say we call for three golems. And then one golem comes. And another golem comes. Perfect. So redstone, pretty easy. Almost. We do have to add in one more thing, and that is some kind of AND gate. So what we'll probably do is, anytime any of these comparators are on, uh, we have to make sure that the killing chamber for the iron golems no longer kills. So I don't. we don't need an AND gate, I guess. This is more just an OR gate, a uh, three-way OR gate. So any of them can be on. So in that case, all we need is like a torch off of the, off of this block. If we put a redstone torch there, which I forgot to grab, even though I have stacks of them upstairs. And I made tons of sticks already, too. Very good, then. All right, so yeah, we could simply do that. I have a torch there, torch there. Or is this more... No, that's more like an AND gate right there. Uh, because all these torches would have to be off for it to give out the proper output. So no, we do need... I just made an AND gate. I don't want an AND gate. So instead, we will just take, let's say, a repeater off of it. So we'll keep it. We don't want to invert it. If we invert it, it's going to be an end gate. If we keep it uninverted, it'll be an OR gate. So we got three output possibilities. All of them can output to this. And then we're going to have just a redstone line running all the way across. So now, whenever any one of these is on, this redstone signal will not be on because I did it wrong. Silly. Silly me. Okay, there we go. Will that work? Yeah, so that's our output, let's say. So this will head over to uh, the Iron Golem farm. And I'll have to make sure I put a repeater after that so that redstone dust can get powered through. So yeah, now if any one of these is on, that lamp will be on. And that means that the auto kill will be disabled. So let's go do that part. Stop! What have I done? I was just trying to get over there. This is apparently not the way to go. There's a big lava thing here. Well, that's an interesting way of doing it. Oh. I never thought about using slabs to get rid of lava. Because now I could just go whoop, right? Sort of? No, I can't. Nope, I can't do anything. Aha! Right, well, it doesn't help if you stagger them. I was going to just dig a tunnel all the way through there, but I didn't realize there was so much lava here. No. Bad lava. Alright, so this heads to the Iron Golem farm. And also... Oh, nope. Abort. Abort! I said abort! There we go. So I'm not sure how we're going to do this. This other, actually, water stream is from my desert. So this is a quick way to get desert back to the base. Is actually through this. 
Um, I don't know where this stuff will be going. I'll have to go double check. <laughs> I don't think it gets processed properly just yet. But I might just make a tunnel right here. It's probably the way to do it. And then I'll just dig a tunnel, a one one by two tunnel for the redstone. But I've got to figure out where to do that. And we also got to dig a tunnel. Well, everybody, I think we don't have enough time to actually complete this project today, but we did get it started, and we've got a good idea how it's going to go. So if you have any uh, feedback or suggestions on how we could improve it or anything like that, feel free to leave that below. Also, don't forget about, um, yeah, if you could change one thing about my videos, what would you change? And then, yeah, hopefully that will lead to me being able to improve my content for you guys. And also, if you want to provide a window for the Wither Skeleton Farm, the dimensions again are 7 by 19. And if you could also provide a title for your art piece, that would be much appreciated. Oh, Lord, no. No, 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 no. Stop, stop. Stop, 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 stop. We're okay. Don't worry about it. Just, just spam things and all will be well. Main concern is it's turning my water into stone. Oh, I did get rid of one of the source blocks, too. Oh, there's plenty of source blocks here. Very good, then. All right, people. Well, thank you very much for watching. And, yeah, we'll work on this maybe not next episode, but in uh, maybe the episode after that. Maybe we'll go and work on the Wither Skeleton Farm area for an episode, and then we'll come back and finish this guy off. I'll give you guys time to provide any feedback. So thank you, everybody, for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and we will see you in the next episode of Merlewis Plays Minecraft. Goodbye. Where's my shovel? There it is.